tried the ball that he used when he shot 289. And leaves himself at 210. So that's the other issue when trying to make adjustments. You lose pocket altogether and you end up coming away with a split and an open frame. And the open comes in six for a total of 101. Conrad Merker clean through five spare up. Has a chance to uh, build a little pin count here. That'll help do it. I, I just think that's terrific. I mean, it's, I admire that in all sports when you see the opposition go after them. You know, sometimes we tend to athletes tend to play down to the level of the their opponent. They see the opponent struggle a little bit and they tend to let down as well. I mean, when the opponent gives you an opening, you got to jump all over that. And he does just that. Get an opening from your opponent and do exactly what Conrad just did. Put your foot on his throat and throw a double. Let's make a good shot here. Come on. Ryan set and trailing now by 28. He needed that. I mean, desperately needed that. Coming off the open. Needs to find the line here on the left lane. Has yet to throw a strike on lane five. Again, what I, what I find impressive is that he could very well just, you know, he's not going to fold the tent. That's overstating it. But the open could have shaken his confidence, and he comes back with a double. Well, he makes the ball change there in the sixth frame. That was a bad shot, loses a 210, and, and then comes back with, like you said, two in a row. And, you, and now you ask yourself, well, why did he start with the other ball to begin with? Yeah. But obviously, he's, he sees something out there that warranted the move. And Almost it, hit it flush, and he still got away with it. Right, and if you're Ryan Setton, that's exactly what you wanted to see because you don't want Conrad Merker stringing strikes and running away from you. You want a chance to get back into this game, even though, remember, it's a two-game match, total pins. You don't want your opponent running and hiding and building a huge lead going into the final game. Seventeen pins separates the two in this first game. Interesting the personalities of the the uh, two bowlers. Where you hear Ryan set and talk to himself quite a bit. Conrad Merker, nothing. A little more cyborg-like. Yeah. Conrad is. <laughs> yes. Oh no, my again. God! You got to be kidding me. That's where you just want to scream like something. You want something really loud to come out and you leave a solid eight pin like that. The only true tap in bowling, you see the ball go right by the eight pin. That's just not right. We're not getting anything out of uh, Conrad who remains silent. The spare there, he can strike out now and shoot 217. Ryan Setton can strike out ninth and tenth and shoot 221. Get up! Yes, get up! 
get down. Get up, get down. That's get a fun tonight. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> you, know, you, you just got done mentioning how how kind of quiet and stoic Conrad Merker is, and the polar opposite just gets up and throws a three-bagger. And we're up here listening to KC in the Sunshine Band. I mean, come on. And then just when you kind of settle back into our commentator seats, it's like Ryan Sutton gets up, throws a three-bagger, and it's like somebody just shot us with a taser. That's great. Well, it means the game will be close here, going to the second. Yeah. You betcha. Oh, my. It's game on, it's man. Yeah. Game on. <laughs> That puts him in the two teens. If he, well, it would be 210 if he went nine spare. One more strike gets him into the low 220s. Again, remember, Conrad Merker, the best he can do if he strikes out, 217. We're going to have a real tight one heading into the second and final game. Remember, total pins after two games is your champion. No. Right. A little deep, a little wide. Come back. Come back. Come back. A spare will give him 209. If Conrad Merker goes strike spare in the 10th, he shoots 207. It's a good thing I brought my calculator. Mm -hmm. And I was told there would be no math. Really? Oh, good, good cover to drive okay. right through it. To get the 4-8. For a 2.09 here in game one. Boy, this momentum has shifted, hasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Hey, but you know what? Conrad, unflappable. He steps up and just. Kind of yeah. shreds the rack and you know just kind of goes about his business. The quiet man. Yeah, I mean, he he appears to be quiet on the outside, but on the inside, there's a lot going on. I think there's churning down there. The perspiration on his forehead kind of gives it away. Mm -hmm. Well, he wanted to double up and take an eight pin lead. Striking out, he would have either shot 217. Now he spares the one two. He'll shoot 207. And you're talking a two pin match. I'll tell you who feels really good about that last shot is Ryan Seton. There's the spare. And so, Seton at 209. Hey. Conrad Merker at 207. It's going to be a terrific final game. Decide the champion of the DSN Classic Bowl Championship when we come back to Mississauga. Today we're going to talk about how to increase ball speed. For those of you that would like to learn how to throw the bowling ball faster, maybe knock more pins down. It's real simple. It all happens in how you push the ball into the swing. You want to increase speed, get that bowling ball, shove it out there, get it going. That's going to make the feet run after it. We want to create speed with our body momentum going to the foul line. Watch this. You want to get the ball moving, you want to create some more ball speed, get it into the swing early, chase after it, instant velocity. $5,000 will go to the winner. 2000 of the runner-up. The TSN Classic Bowl Championship. One game to play. Brian Setton from Mississauga with a two-pin advantage, 209-207 over Conrad Merker and uh, Conrad being the number one seed has the choice again and is elected to play first again. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. 
nice start. Seven pin thought about standing up, but then thought better of it. Yeah, I don't think so. Well, both are. I mean, it, I mean, the age difference. Is there, is there. You know, Conrad is 40, Ryan is 23. But it's the situations they probably be in in uh, in terms of bowling, whether it be in their house, whether it be trying to qualify for the Canadian team or bowling in the Tournament of Americas. I mean, there's they're pressure situations. It's just the lights, it's the cameras, those kind of things they've never seen before. <laughs> And now they're both making it look kind of easy. And we all know it's not. I love this aspect of it. Randy, you know, here's here's Ryan throws a strike, throws another one, goes, all right, Conrad, your turn. Let's take that. And it's all even. Remember, Ryan setting a two pin advantage after the first game when he shot 209 to Conrad Merker's 207. You know, after 10 weeks, this is our. Uh, our last show together it has been a, uh, a pleasure of mine and I can speak for the crew you have been terrific and we thank you for joining us look forward to doing this again hopefully well sir the part nice wow. the pleasure has been all mine Vic you know first of all I'd like to to say thanks to TSN for the opportunity to come out here and, and it's it's just been a joy to the Faye family and everybody here at Classic Bowl to the all of the great Canadian bowlers for you know, really making me feel at home here. And, and obviously a special thanks to you and, and to our production team. It's been a blast. And I mean, I feel like I've been working with you forever. It's been just a, a thrill and a joy and a privilege. Look at this. And this makes it fun too for all of us. As they just uh, trade punches. Remember now when Ryan came out of the qualification he was number 12 and then worked his way up and then Pete Jojo Copon then Robert Brace and then in the step ladder coming in as the uh, number two seed beating Douglas Yu to advance and that near perfect game. It's good carry. It's good carry oh. not quite couldn't carry the 10. Felt good. Felt good. Felt good. Felt good. No problem. Perfect start for both players until yeah. this flat 10 that Ryan set and leaves on the left lane. He loved it as soon as he let go and he's running it out. He's counting the cash. 10 pin didn't cooperate. Oh. 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 